So we're going to be taking a look at Gobel Creek Falls today. We just recently found it. It's one of just three falls in Columbia County that have a fish ladder so that the salmon can get around it. And it's a nice little falls, so let's take a look. The first obstacle of the day is we have to cross Gobel Creek. In the summer it's pretty easy to walk across, but this time of year we're probably going to do a combination of rock stepping and log scooting it looks like. Let's see how wet his boots get. So last time we came here about a month ago, that wasn't there. And you can see just on the right hand side, the beavers are starting to build a dam across there and have already uh, slowed down the flow quite a bit. It's one of the first times I've gotten to see a partially finished dam in progression, so that's pretty cool. About a hundred feet upriver of the falls, there's a nice calm place to cross if you want to see the falls from the other side. So that's what the falls looks like today. It uh, makes me want to hunt down some footage of the falls about a month ago so I can show you what it looked like when it had been raining more recently. Still a neat little falls. Got your rather elaborate fish ladder right there too. This fish ladder was originally built, I believe in 1952, to uh, throw in some new area on Gobel Creek for spawning grounds for salmon that they hadn't been able to access previously. Water than when we were here about a month and a half ago. Sounds like a quadruple fall right now. And there's the fish ladder going up the side. He's dropping, looking for some salamanders. Hopefully he finds one. Spotted a dun salamander. One of the most easy to find creek salamanders around here. There he goes. You can identify the species by looking at the fact that it has a single plate going across from the top of its thorax as well as the fact that it 
has sort of white spots on the base of its claws. So this was not here a month ago. It's like a uh, adult deer. Right here you can see a pretty amazing uh, sort of crystal inset all over the rocks right here. Like a vein of some sort of quartz or something. It's pretty cool. So uh, that's Scoble Creek Falls. Nice little pretty waterfall, uh, pretty easy to get to. And uh, one thing is that if you ever see a giant salamander here, or hear any reports of giant salamanders, we'd love to get a picture of one of those to see if this still works as their habitat. So, we'll see you again.